Okay, this is Free Code Camp MongoDB and Mongoose Part 3. Uh, so it says here we want to create, uh, use the function create and save a person. Um, so first, go over to myapp.js for Replit. And that's exactly what we do here. So um, we create the variable create and save person. Um, if this constant already exists for you, you can just comment it out like I did here. It can appear in two places. Um, and then we start our function. So function done. Uh, and then we begin the function. So uh, we're doing, you know, people with their age and favorite food. So um, you can pick any name here. So let Thomas equal new person. And then uh, the name of the person I made up is Thomas, comma, age. And then you got your colon, 31. This can be anything, um, comma. And then favorite foods, colon. And once again, this string here um, can be anything you want. It could be hamburger. It could be french fries. It could be car. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, then from there, uh, if we go back to free code camp. <clears throat> so we're using this person.save. Um, so whoever the person is, Katie, Jim, Thomas, uh, dot save, and then function error comma data, right? So let's go back to our code. So we're doing thomas.save and then error comma data. Then we begin our uh, function here. So if there's an error, console.log error. Um, otherwise, else, done, null, data. Um, and then we just uh, close everything out like so. Um, now, interesting point here is if we go to server.js, when it's actually passing information over to your database, um it's removing it so you can find that under server.js here so person dot find by id and then right here uh it's removing the data that you input but actually if you comment that out uh and then run it um interestingly enough you'll actually be able to see this data go into your database um, you can see that here on um, the atlas service for mongodb um, so this is my cluster, it's just cluster zero. And then you move over to collections here on this tab. And then you go down to people. So that's um, where all of this is appearing. And then here you can see uh, the data um, that we uh, sent over to this Atlas website is now showing up here. Um, so that's kind of, if you, if you want to test it and see if it's actually going into the database, you can just comment out that um, part of the server.js file. Um, so after uh, you got all that running, um, go ahead and grab your live link uh, to test it, see if it works. And we'll paste it in here. And you're good to go. All right. Thanks so much.